Denzel Abraham with a one-on-one -on -one interview with Robert C. O'Brien. Good evening, Rob. What is the title of the book that you wrote? First of all, it's Robert. And the title of the book that I just wrote is Mrs. Frisbee and the Rats of Nim. Interesting. So you wrote about the natural habitat of how a rat lived. Did you include the New York subway? No, this has nothing to do with the rats or subways of New York City. This is a fiction book about Mrs. Frisbee, who is widowed, and her mouse family who live in a field in a field on a farm and they have to move when the summer comes. But can't because their youngest child, Timothy, is sick. She then has to go to the rats for help, which they finally help her, and she learns a lot about them and her husband's death. Again, interesting. Can you give me an overview of some of the main characters? First, there is Mrs. Frisbee, who is the head of the mice family. Her husband Jonathan died, so she has to care for her four children. She is very protective and has to make a lot of sacrifices for them. Next, there is Timothy, who is the smallest and sickest out of the mice children, but he, but he is the smartest and most thoughtful out of them. And lastly, there is Nicodemus, who is the leader of the rats. He, is, he has a scar on his face and wears a black patch. He is one of the rats that, that escaped from them. So where exactly does this all take place? In the beginning of the book, the setting is a farm and the Frisbee family live in a cement block in a field on a farm, on that farm. When Mrs. When Mrs. Frisbee goes for the rat, goes to the rats for help, the setting is under a rose bush where the rats live and some activities take place in the farmhouse also. Well, I have to say, this is all very <coughs> intriguing. Who would you recommend this book to, and why? To pinpoint a certain group of people, I would rec I I think that those who like reading mystery and surprise novels would really appreciate this book. You do not really know why these super intelligent rats are helping Mrs. Frisbee, but when you find out, it all comes together. Okay. Well, that concludes our interview. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Anzel.